Hello, my name is Elias Lobin, and you found this video because you were searching for coin valuation. So you're asking yourself, how much is a coin worth? How do I find out, find out how much is a coin worth? What kind of different coins, coin values are out there? Well, we have a lot of different coin values to look into. But first, let me t tell you who I am. My name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you have access to my fantastic email list and uh, a lot more different channels where I sell authentic ancient Greek and Roman coins. But let me tell you some, so some ideas about valuation. Let's start off with ancient Roman coins because let's start off with the past first. We have Ancient silver coins. By the way, every item you know a person gets from me, as an expert, I've identified over 32,000 items, and it comes with its own certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and um, the major references cited, and the coin in a professional numismatic flip that allows you to look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking it out of the professional covering. So, you may ask yourself, how much is a coin like this worth? It's a coin from 137 BC of the Roman Republic. The reality is with ancient coins is you can look into past histories of sales of how much people were, were paying for such items. Um, there, there's you know some online research sites you could look into, you could look into past auctions. But basically you could, you could really shop around and see what a coin valuation is supposed to be on that kind of coin. But with my coins, I have, you know, extra added value of the certificate of authenticity, which in itself is an extra fifty to hundred dollar value. So, uh, th this is an interesting Roman Republic coin from 137 BC, featuring Romulus and Remus being suckled by the she-wolf. And uh, this is a Roman coin of Roman Emperor Trajan, uh, <clears throat> which uh, which is made of silver. And they're, they're really, really, they're valued. depending on the kind of condition and preservation they, they are in. So, the older the coin, the, the more the condition and preservation. Basically, with all coins, how good the coin looks, how well preserved it is, is going to determine its um, desirability factor and how much a collector would be willing to pay. Because beautiful coins like, for example, this one over here, this is a silver ancient Greek coin from 158 BC would fetch a higher price than a coin that's slightly less worn and less desirable. So that's that's really important to uh, look into that. So with ancient coins what we're looking at is rarity and the condition. So it really doesn't matter what kind of metal it is in. Uh, right now I'm just showing you some silver coins but uh, rarity and condition that's what we're looking for and with modern coins too. I read in a um, in a coin magazine one time that you should never buy a coin that you have to apologize for. So if you're paying mo money for something, you don't want to apologize for something. So th this is a nice big silver Greek coin featuring Alexander the Great's portrait as Hercules. So yeah, for, for, for more information on this, you could check out my site Trusted Coins. So in regards, more in regards to valuation is you could get yourself reference books. If you were not into ancient coins, you could get yourself these books called World Coins. In, in these books, World Coins, you have uh, you have it arranged by different countries, and it allows you to see how many of those coins were minted exactly, how many you know millions or hundreds of thousands, and uh, you could determine a relative rarity value based on that. And uh, it's the same thing with ancient uh, Greek coins. There's a reference on, for example, Greek coins and their values. Um, that's why it says Greek coins and their values. This is an older book, so the best way to really tell the valuation, depending on how much more rare a coin is, is what it is compared to other coins in the in the book. You know, the the price. So. So you could research online, you could check out the prices that, that I'm charging, 
or you can also ch check out some you know auction houses a lot of stuff there's a lot of information available out there but also understand if it's a really nice high quality desirable coin it fetches a much higher price so uh, you may want to maybe put it a couple dollars higher for that reason so uh, check out the site trustedcoins.com uh, to look at authentic ancient coins you can also make offers offers to me because you were looking for coin valuation obviously you're uh, checking out the market so I'm very competitive because I accept best offers on my items I have an eBay store with over 6,000 items so people can come and present the best offer so if it's if it's high enough I would be willing to take it so um, you could get a fantastic deal with me so this is my video about coin valuation thank you very much have a terrific day bye bye